All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to a brand new video on the Master Studio channel. Today, I have another workout video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be doing some leg workouts today. We got leg day going on here. So you guys see, we got the weight bench set up. I mean, the squat bench. Well, weight bench, but squat rack. We got the squat rack set up. Like I said, if you guys did not see my chest workout video, make sure to watch that. But we have our basic little plates here, you know, not too fancy, not too much. But we work with what we have. So, got our squat rack here. I've been using this for a while now to use squats, and it works pretty good. It's not too light, but, like, I can make it heavy, but, like, of course, I'm not ready for that. But, of course, I really need a real, a real gym because that's way better. But... We work with what we have here. So here we go. I'm showing you guys some squats, leg day that I do here today. Um, I hope give you guys some tips. If you guys need anything to learn, let me know in the comment section. And um, here we go. Also, if you guys are wondering why I use my AirPods, because I use some music while I'm working out. So this is the way you guys can hear me from. So see, that's how you hear me. But anyway, let's get back into the video and um. I'll show you guys some squats here today. All right, main thing you wanna you wanna focus on those squats is you wanna focus on your legs. Of course, that's the whole point of squatting. Your legs you wanna make sure you're you're parallel. Your legs are pointed inward. When you're squatting, you wanna point them you know outwards or you know sideways. You just wanna make sure they're in a good position. I know you guys can't see my face right now, but I'm about to squat. So yeah, hold on. Let me let's get this back some. All right. Yes. There we go. That's way more better. Well, you guys still can't see my face, but you guys get the idea. Squatting is supposed to be something that you use your legs. You do not ever, ever want to use your back because that will injure your back very, very bad. If you have a belt, it's recommended, like a big weight training belt, it's recommended to use that. But if not, you know, use your legs. Utilize your legs. We're going to show you guys here today. So we're burping out. This is just a warm up for right now. So it's not nothing too, nothing too heavy, nothing too light. But um, I'm gonna show you guys how I squat. We're gonna do about I think three reps of eight, three sets of eight. And um, yeah, that's what I usually gonna do on a daily basis. And um, not daily, but whenever I do legs. So here we go. Whew. Like I said, you wanna step out carefully. You usually wanna spotter whenever you're squatting. Always, always, have, always have a spotter. Right now, I'm not doing too much weight, so it's all right for me not to have one right now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. saw how I got really low to the floor as low as I can that's how you utilize your legs more you want to get as low as you can um, if you're using like in a gym you have the bars on the side to help you catch it if you're doing a heavy set and that's recommended also to use but mostly you want to try to get as low as possible go all the way deep to the floor and try to go back up using only your legs that's how you're gonna utilize your legs more you know get these leg muscles I don't really have big legs, but, you know, I work on my legs, and I run a lot, so, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good, so, we're gonna put some more weight on here, and I think, so, this is our warm-up, pretty much, you guys still can't see my face, which bothers me, but it's alright, but, like I said, let me show you guys here, so, you wanna really try to get as low to the ground as possible, and use your legs to push yourself back up with the weight on top of you, that's how, Utilize your legs, but we're gonna add another 10 to each side. You know, I don't know how much this is I'll probably count it out and put it here on the screen But like I said, it isn't too light of a weight for me It isn't too much of a weight and also I can't really do a lot of weight because I don't have a spotter So for anyone who wants to bash me in the comments, please don't because hey, I work with what I have I want to see what you're doing, but spread positivity here. So hope you all having a great day and um Yeah, so we're adding these tins on here um, like I said, I'll probably put up here how much I'm doing this. I'm not putting no more than this on because this is as much as I can do without a spotter. And I don't want to hurt my back or myself without putting too much weight on there. So, yeah, that's just that's just what I'm using. So, hope this is good. I can actually scoot back some more. All right. Hold up. I think that's good. Boom. Hope you guys see. Yes, now you guys can probably see my face. But, like I said, I don't want to put too much on here, especially because I don't have a spotter, so I'm using with what I have. 
And now here we go. We're going to do this set two times of eight. Because like I said, I don't want to put too much on here. So we're doing another set of eight. And we'll rest and do another set of eight. All right, here we go. Like I said, you want to use your legs. It's the most important thing, using your legs. Your legs, that's the whole reason of a squat is to use your legs. Never, ever, ever, ever use your back. Because that will, that will literally hurt you and, you know, you'll be hurt a lot. Especially for people who actually want to get results. You don't want to be out not working out whenever you're trying to get results. All right, so here we go. Whew. Oh, man, this is going to be heavy. I probably might only go to like five or six, but I'm going to try to push it out all the way to eight. Here we go. Okay, this is actually not, actually. Oh, shoot. Hold. Hold, hold, hold. I forgot the most important thing. I forgot my clips, aka my clamps. This is what I put on the end of the bars to keep the plates in place so it doesn't tilt and slide off each side. Do I look amazing? Look at me. I look fly. Anyway, so you see how... Let me show you guys real fast. You see how my bar, my, my plates start to slide off? It's hard to see because of the sun, but that's because I didn't have the clamp on here. So when I put the clamp on here, pushes it all the way back, locks into place. It can't move when I'm, you know, squatting or benching. Benching is the most important one, especially if you don't have a spotter. Or when you, when you have a spotter, it's recommended to use it. But when you don't have a spotter, it's not really because you don't want to, you know, if you can't lift it, you need to pull off the weight. You know, it's easier like that. But anyway, let's get back into the set. Make sure I have my clamps on there. I don't have this one on there either. Oh my goodness, I don't have any of my clamps on. Thanks, here we go. Also, you want to breathe. I'll show, tell you guys about that in the next, after I get done with this set. Seven, last one. Eight. Woo! That's a pretty hard one, but it's not too bad to say the least. Alright, I think that's gonna be the last thing we do on camera. I don't want to make the video way too long. But last thing I want to touch on when you're squatting, benching, doing any types of workout is your breathing. I need to catch my breath. But breathing is a very important part. When you're working out, breathing, you want to have the right big. As you guys can hear, if you guys are not here, try to go back and try to listen if you can. But as I was breathing, when I'm squatting, I go down, I inhale. So, so I go down, exhale, when I come back up. When you exhale and you push back up, you're letting out that breath, but also using your leg muscles to come back up. So, just like this, I'm going to demonstrate it here for you guys. So, I have my squat, squat here. Breathe in, exhale, and push up. That's the way I do it. That helps me a lot. So you got, I guess you guys can try it. You can do it with any type of workout. Push-ups, when you're going down, inhale, exhale. Especially when those reps start getting hard, that's going to be very key and important. You guys, want to learn how to breathe when working out and also what not to do. If you guys need more tips, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to learn. Like the video for more workout tips and um, catch you guys in the next video. And then we'll touch on some more abs. I, I made a lot of ab workout videos. If you guys have not seen my other workout videos, there's a playlist on my channel. While you're there looking at my playlist, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But there's a playlist you can find all my workout videos, how to get really good abs. Probably you guys have seen during this video my abs. You can watch, but I'll make another one if you guys want a new and updated one because I found better workouts. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Stay amazing. Stay positive. Smile all the time because you're amazing. Catch you guys in the next video. Yay!